This follows on from part one. It was the same evening's fishing.
Well, there's a nice fish. Nice mammals up here, as if you know they're not hammered at all. And uh, it's absolutely beautiful. Apart from that big ulceration there on his tail, which is really unfortunate. I don't know what has caused that, but you can see that it's a, a real nasty, nasty ulcer, as if it's been grabbed by something. It's a great shame. And it has a wonderful... There it is. And it's got that intact barb on the front, which you very rarely see. You can see it there sticking up. Absolutely beautiful dorsal fish. You don't often see barbel with fins like that. Anyway, we'll have one last look at him. Can't see anything in the mouth. And uh, what a great shame that is. It's not nice to see the fish. But I'll pull him back in and uh, it's uh, now 10 o'clock exactly. Uh, two nice fish and one missed, <laughs> unfortunately. I would think this one here will be about eight pounds. Very similar to the last one. I'm still bowling now. Oh, right. right. Some other night. Right, I'll be in touch then, Tom. Yes, okay, Jeff. Let me know and what's I'll, happening I'll bring your reading glasses. Oh, Tom, 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 Tom. Tom, Tom. Tom. Take that fish out of that net. I can't Look. be doing. Do you want me to let it go? Yeah, I can't be doing with Just gone. Yeah. Let me bring this one in. Got to be gently, gently on there. I've lost one already. I don't want to lose another one. Let's see. steady away, really. Slapping this clutch off so that if he wants to run it can run. It's always when they get the boat here. <laughs> He's playing to the film. Well, here is fish number three, and what about that for a dorsal fin? It's a gem. <laughs> it's a really beaut. I'm going to lovely anal fin on it there. 
beautiful colours. And again, nice mouth on them. No signs of tears or anything on it. Beautiful. That lovely eye again. Beautiful bronze colour on the top. Look at the lovely scale pattern there. That dorsal fin again. Well, that's a grand fish, and you can see the last rays of sunshine in the background. Just move back up. You see the whole fish. Go back any further and fall in. There's that dorsal fin against the sky there. Well, that's a wonderful fish. I'm not sure whether it's a double or not, but it's certainly a very big, big fish. And uh, I'll put him back in the water now and leave him to rest while we have the last cast of the day before we go home. Well, there you go. A last look. I'll put him back in. Well, I'm just resting that second fish in the water before I returned it, and it was sitting there quietly in the net. And uh, when it was ready to go, I went down the bank to put it in, and a couple of friends were standing. When all of a sudden, this top rod <laughs> started going. All I can say is three cheers for bait runners, <laughs> otherwise it would have been in the water, it took so long to get to it. Uh, uh, a very welcome sight. And a beautiful fish, I mean that dorsal fin was just out of this world. It really was an absolutely pristine fish. And uh, you tend to find this at Fordington, you tend to find the fish are a better quality. There may not be as many of them, but uh, they tend to be you know, the, ten the mouths tend to be in good condition and the dorsal fin tends to be in good nick as well. Whereas on more heavily fished swims you tend to find, uh, you know, mouths with slight tears in dorsal fin where the spine's missing from the front. Um, but here, good fish, really nice fish. So we've had one big take and missed it changed the hook to something bigger and since then we've had three lovely fish one unfortunately with a slight ulceration by the tail where it's been grabbed by something that's a great shame but that apart they've been beautiful fish anyway the last rays of sunshine are going you can see in the background there and it's a slight reflection in the river it's been a glorious day here uh, when there's no wind and it's nice and warm and the river's up slightly there's no nicer place in Fordington to be. Um, so, I hope you enjoy the videos when they're on YouTube. Uh, there'll be a bit more on this one than previously. And, uh, but thank you very much for watching and I'll say a very good night to you. Good night.